Belfast tonight, a factory worker has been jailed for life for murdering a businesswoman he met on a dating website. Claire Abelwhite was stabbed repeatedly at her secluded cottage in Nottinghamshire. John Jessop cycled 17 miles to kill Claire after she ended their relationship. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball has this report. Claire Abelwhite was starting a new life after her marriage broke down. A mother to three sons, she was setting up a boarding kennel and dog walking business. Claire was killed at the cottage she'd just started renting in Colston Bassett. This is the moment Claire's killer was arrested at the factory where he worked in Newark. John Jessup was identified from messages on Claire's badly damaged phone. The breakthrough came when the police found Claire's mobile. Jessup had thrown it into this stream, but detectives retrieved messages showing they'd met on a dating website. John Jessup was 21 years younger than Claire. That age difference soon prompted her to end their relationship. The last time they met was just a week before Jessup murdered her. This afternoon, Nottingham Crown Court heard a really distressing account from Claire's father, Graham Tinkley, of how he discovered her body lying in front of the fireplace. I panicked, he said. I dialed 999. I said, my daughter's dead. They tried to talk him through CPR and mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, but it was much too late. Jessup was filmed arriving at Claire's home on her neighbour's CCTV camera that recorded her screaming for almost two minutes as she tried to fight him off. Jessup cycled there from Newark, a 34-mile round trip. These cameras caught his distinctive bike reflector. And this is Jessup stopping to buy a pasty on his way to commit that crime. He'd left his phone at home to avoid being traced. Today, some justice for his victim's family in court to see Jessup begin a life sentence. He has robbed the world of a loving, caring and outgoing person who had so much to live for. Jessup admitted what he'd done, but he still hasn't apologised. A killer who'll serve a minimum of almost 18 years before he's even considered for parole.